Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before diesel, just a quick one. Well, maybe. We're gonna talk about water leaks and roof racks and when you find water in different places where it's coming from. And yep, if you want the short video, that's where it could be coming from. But there's a couple other places we'll mention. So if you notice you've got a wet seat belt or there's some water on your floor, if you haven't had your windscreen replaced lately by Bodgy Brothers, uh, there's a good chance if anyone's done any work on your roof rack, added an aftermarket roof rack or you have, the water could be coming in here. <coughs> it's really important that you get it sorted out, especially on the passenger side because you've got a lot of electronics over there. Expensive and it can run down the pillar towards the dash. <coughs> Excuse me, that morning thing. Um, yeah, it can run down towards that, that end of things and end up costing you a lot of money and an inconvenient breakdown as well. So what you want to do if you've I suppose if your car's 10 years plus old, this is something I'm talking to myself about now, you know, the 120, that the roof rails have never been off, but there's no wet seat belts or anything, so hopefully I'll be right. But usually what happens is people put aftermarket other roof racks on there. There's a couple of different ways these are sealed up. What Toyota do is they put sealant on the bolts that go down in the hole, so it's sealing down in the thread down there. So that's one way it seals. They also put a, a bit of sealant around, like a very thin bead around here on the outside of this. And there's rubber. So there's rubber that seals most of it. But the water, once it, you just have a look. So you've just got a track here. That's how the car's built. And this rubber trim, it just sits in place. You know, that can just lift out, right? It just sort of clips in. There's not much holding it in there, right? That's why they can uh, blow away as well. But, <clears throat> excuse me. Basically, you want to make sure, so you got to, when you, when you, look, I'm fitting roof rails back onto this vehicle. So when they sit in place, you should feel the rubber sort of slot in around that plastic. But there needs to be a, you don't have to get crazy here because crazy doesn't seal things. It just makes mess and makes it hard to get off. A tiny little bead around the outside of that, right? And a little bit on the thread. So then you've got it sealed by the bolt. You've got it sealed by there. Hardly thing, anything's going to get in there because of the rubber. But if it does sit there, or it's parked on a certain angle where water's constantly running down into here and it's pulling and sitting there can slowly work its way through there if it's not sealed. That's why I'm telling you, A, that seal and the backup plan is the bolt as well. So we're going to, because of course, what, that might be sealed there, but if water got to the bolt, it could run. So long story short, it's a short video, right? Um, the other one is if you've got a sunroof, which obviously here we haven't, you've got to make sure you keep cleaning those sunroof drain holes because if they block up, it'll overflow and you'll get water going places as well. That's the other one. There, your main two ways water can get in. If you haven't had Bodgy Brothers, um, you know, replace your windscreen. If Bodgy Brothers have been out, there's a good chance maybe they didn't do a good job with the urethane cleaning up and re... You know, we've got someone for windscreens. If you're around Melbourne, you know, his name's Dave, you know. Just look, if you need a windscreen and you're around Melbourne, west side, north, north and west, I don't think he goes south, south, east, sorry, but, um, uh, you know, the, he's a top bloke, mate. He's been around for ages. Shoot me the text message for the windscreen guy if you're around Melbourne anyway. I'll hook you up. Bada bing. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Hit the like button. Avoid this water leak, particularly. If you feel wet seat belts, that's what it's all about. It's most likely coming down from those. See? Short one. Told you. Hope you subscribe, turn the bell on. We've got free batteries and other awesome information on our channel. Check out all our playlists and better information and videos coming soon. See ya.